Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight I'm going to be talking about how Jay-Z is being sued by a Rock Nation boxer over his severe brain injuries. As you guys know, um, Jay-Z has been also representing athletes, and he has a large roster of athletes, and this particular athlete is suing him for his brain injuries. I'm going to go to TMZ to read you guys the article and bring you guys up to speed on what's going on and let you know a little bit more about this. Anyway, so it says, Jay-Z is being sued by a former Rock Nation sports boxer who blames Hova and the company for the severe brain injuries he suffered after taking three fights in 79 days. The boxer behind the lawsuit is Daniel Franco, who claimed he signed a deal with Rock Nation Sports back in 2015 and won his first fights with Jay-Z's company. But the problem started in March 2017, Franco claimed he came down with a bad flu before a big fight, which sidelined him from training for three weeks. Franco claimed he told Rock Nation he needed to postpone or cancel the March 23rd fight, but Rock Nation pressured him into fighting anyways. Franco said he lost badly in the third round and should have taken time off to recover, but instead Rock Nation booked him to fight again 50 days later on May 12th. Then Franco claims Rock Nation booked him for a third fight just a month later on June 10th, his third fight in 79 days. But Franco claims Rock Nation never took the steps to make sure he was medically fit to take the third fight and it could have cost him his life. I suffered brain injuries and, you know, it was a traumatic brain injury that I had subdural hematoma and I had to get emergency surgery and my parents didn't know that if I was going to make out alive. In court documents, Franco claims he believes he suffered two skull fractures and a brain bleed before the June 10th fight that could have been detected. Instead, Franco said he fought on June 10th and lost again, suffering major brain damage in the process. Franco claims he was diagnosed with a brain hemorrhage and went into a coma. Doctors needed to remove a piece of his skull to relieve pressure from the bleed. After two weeks, Franco awoke from his coma but claims he still has severe neurological and cognitive issues and is required to wear a helmet at all times to protect his brain. One thing that really upset me was that Rock Nation, my promoter, they pretty much they told my parents that, you know, like, we're going to help take care of this. We're going to, you know... They, they, they were going to help us. They abandoned us and they didn't support us, you know, when we were in such a tough, in such a tough spot. And so this is a photo of him wearing the helmet that I guess he has to wear at all times to protect his brain and keep himself all in all together. In the suit, Franco says Rock Nation and Jay-Z had a duty to protect him, but instead acted recklessly by scheduling him to fight three times in 79 days without necessary medical testing. He's asking for unspecified damages. We reached out to Rock Nation for comment. So far, no word back. Well, I want to know what you guys think about this situation. Do you think Rock Nation is at fault? What do you guys think in terms of this? I know that there are a lot of pressures in the sports industry and entertainment industry. There is a lot of money that people put up. So they put a lot of stress and pressure on these athletes to kind of fulfill these requirements and these deadlines that they have and these fights and things. So, I mean, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Let's talk about it down below. And for them to just leave me out and hang me up to dry, that's that's something that somebody that you absolutely trust with your career, it's something that they should not be doing. They haven't been true to their word, and they haven't been great people. What's up with your company? How come they're just ignoring me? How come they're not picking up the phone? How come I haven't gotten a call? What, what's been going on, Jay-Z? All right, guys, that's all for this video. Stay tuned for more celebrity news and gossip. But in order to do that, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button right now. Don't wait. Do it right now. All right, guys. Peace. What, what's been going on, Jay-Z?